Throughout the years, we've always done really well fishing in the evenings. You know, used to we'd always fish early in the morning, you know? That's what most people do. But one year, it was kind of rough in the morning and finally laid down in the evening and we didn't have many days left to fish, so we're like, well, you know, let's just give it a try, you know? What's the worst that can happen? So we went out in the evening and we had a really great day and we even caught a really nice dolphin. Since then, we made it a point to go offshore fishing in the evening while we were down in the Keys and it's done really well for us. We've caught some really nice fish and I even caught my first high-speed wahoo down in the Keys in the evening. It was right as the sun was setting, so it was a pretty cool experience and we really liked it. I think it works well because it's less crowded in the evening and it's starting to cool down. I think the fish just kind of get hungry again after that morning bite. Talking about a nice day to be out. We're going to see if we can catch some fish this afternoon, and as you can see, it is flat and it's pretty blue. So we're cruising along in about 500 feet of water. Hopefully we can uh, find some birds or a floating outlet or something good floating. Hopefully we'll find some fish here pretty soon. It's uh, a nice evening to be out. So today we headed offshore in the evening. We got past the break and just kind of cruised on out until we found some birds and a nice weed line. It's a good sign. There are birds under it and there's a freak at high. Yeah, I see some working up ahead. Pretty low. Good sign, guys. We started trolling around them. Didn't do too well with the birds, so we just started trolling down the weed line. We were trolling for a pretty good while and we found a bucket. You know, it's funny how just a little thing will hold fish. You know, a little bucket in this case, you know, miles of weed line but it's at the bucket where all the fish and the bait and the triple tail are. Uh, on a similar situation, we found tons of fish on a 4x4 board in the middle of the ocean. We got another video for that. I'll put the link in the description, but similar scenario. So in this case, we see that bucket, we see the triple tail. So we, we loop back around after trolling by it with our baits and um, we kind of stop and we pull on our lines and we throw out a chum bag. We try to see if we can you know, catch some triple tail, because a couple of them look pretty nice. While we had the chum bag out, all of a sudden a school of dolphins went by. Where? So we go and we bring in our lines and I, I grab some live bait, kind of throw some out to them to get them, you know, keep them excited, keep them by the boat. And I try to throw my bait to them to get hooked up on them. I think they're uh, pretty aggressive. One issue we were having is these stupid little bar jacks. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what they are, but these guys hang out with the yellowtail and they're just ferocious. I mean, they will just, I can get it out there. all these guys come together and they'll just attack your bait. I mean, it don't matter if it's a ballyhoo this big, they just all come to it like a bunch of piranhas. And all you have is like a hook afterwards. And uh, we were having a hard time trying to catch the dolphin and the triple tail. Can never get those dolphin to feed, unfortunately. But when my dad was working him, he did hook up to a nice triple tail. Jeez, he's right there at the boat. Right. Right straight beneath. Oh, you got him? Nice. Give me that. Do you have some to net him with? There we go. Wow. My dad caught a nice triple tail and it, it really worked out good. You know, just putting that extra step with them in the chum bag, we had no idea that the dolphin were there. And even though we didn't catch any of them, it was good that at least we brought them up and we stopped the check. I mean, it was an opportunity that we wouldn't have had if we just kind of trolled by and kept on going. All right, guys, we're back. Tried to run out further, see if we could find something better, more birds, but it was kind of dead out there. We couldn't find nothing. So, came back in, looking at this patch, and hopefully we'll be able to find a little something better on it. Certainly some good uh, grass patches out here. It's a lot cleaner, a lot more. Um, consolidated in the lines than last time where we just scattered and really tough to uh, troll through. So we kept trolling by the weed line and when it's kind of slow I like to 
practice, you know, my spread. You know, try some new things, work on some things I've read in magazines or articles or seen online. And today I was experimenting with my squid teaser. So I was using a C&H bubbler, which is kind of like a cutout head, makes it suck down in the water and it's got little holes so it'll shoot out, you know, bubbles when it hits the surface. I think it makes the bait look a little more frantic, you know, a little more crazy, gives it some action. Which worked out good because then I took my teaser and I positioned that squid teaser so that the last squid on the teaser was about 10 feet in front of that CNH bubbler with a ballyhoo. You know, point being that it looks like there's a struggling bait behind the, the school of fish. And so, you know, that's what the predators go for, right? You know, the lion gets the slowest gazelle, something like that. And it worked out just according to plan. Dolphin, there we go. Look at him, look at him. Yeah. And it's really neat, you know, when you practice something like that and set it up and it, you know, it works right according to plan, you know? I just put that teaser, so it was about 10 feet in front, so it looked like this is the struggling one. He's coming up. Get him. Nice. Look at that. We get that fish in the boat, um, keep trolling, it's nice and cool, looking for structure. Found a little flip-flop, no dolphin or bait on that, unfortunately. Guess maybe you need a little bit of subsurface to it. But overall, it was a fun trip. It was in the evening, clouds came in, it was nice and cool. You know, we got that triple tail, we got to see the school dolphin, got to play with the teaser and hooked up to a nice dolphin on that. Learned some stuff. Hope you guys learned some stuff from this video. Give night fishing a try, you know. It's, it's just a good chance to get out in the water and it's something different. Hope you guys liked the video. We got more videos coming, so like and subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you next time.